yeah after understanding the importance of uh, uh, biasing right uh, we have the three type of bias right fixed bias scriptor bias and uh, voltage total bias also bias right so this is the circuit for uh, fixed bias right so what it has is uh, the transistor collector right we have the collector of the transistor is having the resistance uh, that is present within this power supply right and uh, <clears throat> you call this uh, a collector resistance right and uh, another uh, base uh, that is uh, having a uh, base resistance are connected with this uh, uh, source vcc right so this is a very simple type of uh, bias a uh, fixed bias uh, right and this emitter terminal is uh, yeah connected to the ground input is uh, basically acted based on right uh, the current will be coming here uh, in the base and what the fluctuation will be yeah that will be you know reflected along this uh, ic add so because of that ic variation uh, there will be voltage varying according to the water the resistance right so <clears throat> yeah this is what uh for the fixed bias circuit is right so if we try to calculate the value of this and ic so we have to you know, go with this equations right so how we are going to calculate this vc collector to enter voltage right so vcc minus yeah voltage along this resistor rc right vc right so vc minus icrc right so we are uh so th this is what the um, yeah um the voltage we will get along this v vc right and v is already uh at negative condition of zero so vc minus v that that will give the vc is of vc equals to vc that is vc minus ic so this is how we have to solve this uh, equation okay and now in case of this base right well base to enter voltage that we have to you know, calculate so it is simply what vb minus v yeah vb minus v yeah. but <coughs> as v is equal to zero so vb is equals to you know vb that is equal to zero zero point seven volt that we have to maintain across this just to enter voltage so that this transfer should be done now the value of ic that uh, formula is ic equal to beta into ib right and i is equal to ic plus ib right if beta is very very small so it will be uh, equals to ic right i is equal to so ic right so this was the fixed bias uh, <coughs> yeah calculation fixed bias uh, fixed biasing okay if you have to calculate the value of vc ic so we have to uh, you know solve the equation like this now collector bias so the little difference is that uh, we are uh, getting uh, the voltage along this space uh, from this collector point right from collector to base there is a resistance present between them and that is the rb okay and uh, the current ic is actually flowing through this uh, collector right but that collector uh, iv is drawn from this point vc only so the resistance RC is going to you know, provide the both the current IP flowing through this IP and plus IC. Right? So if you think through this uh, resistor RC, IC plus IP current is going to flow. Okay? So if we calculate the collector to voltage, right? collector to meter voltage, how we are going to work it? This is minus voltage across this. So now what is the voltage across this RC? So it is equal to RC into IC plus I. That much amount of voltage will be present on this RC. So after consuming that much voltage from this VC, we will get this VC, right? And uh, VC equals to VC, VC minus VC, V, right? So V equals to zero. So VC equals to VC minus RC into IC plus I, right? And uh, of course, VB is equals to you know, VB. Okay? VB is equal to VB. Basically. Now we have to calculate IP. So how we can calculate the IV, right? The IV is nothing but what current going through this resistor. So we have the potential VC uh, at one terminal of this resistor and another potential is VB. So simply the potential of uh, the resistance will give current, right? So what is the potential? VC minus VB, right? So all of this resistor, there is a potential of VC minus VB. VC minus VB, and resistance is RV, so RV. So this will give the value of the base current, okay? Yeah. And similarly, if we calculate the value of IC, that she should be equal to beta into I right? as per the formula that we have. Right? And so I is good IC plus I, right? So this is how when uh, current devices is provided, so we, we should do formation like this to for calculation of the IC and VC. Yeah. Now uh, voltage divided devices. What is this? 
So what we have, we have a voltage divider that is present between uh, this uh, input, right? We be around the way. So uh, register RB1 and register RB2, which are created in series, these form a voltage divider network. Right, what are the voltage that is uh, you know created at this VCC? Okay, uh, that will be divided along this ratio of uh, RB1 and R2 resistance, right? So, along this resistance, R2, whatever the voltage is going to be, you know, be present along RB2, that is going to appear along this base to emitter, along this base to emitter that we are doing, or base, base volume, right? Base to emitter is going to be, you know, um, at that we are going to be zero and zero, but at Base at base terminal, we have to get the voltage that is equal to the voltage along this or across this resistance RB2, right? Okay, so how we get this? The voltage uh, consumed by this resistor, the remaining voltage uh, is going to appear across this resistor. Okay, so for that, we have the following, right? So let us uh, calculate that uh, total uh, VC and IC. Values right. So, so if we calculate the VC right, right, collector to meter right, collector to meter that we have to calculate right. So, how we are going to calculate? We are going to apply the voltage of this right from this circuit right from VCC, the RC, then VC, then RE right. So, we will get the formula like this. Okay? So, what, what we will get is yeah. So, for, uh, we will calculate this VC and we will first right VC. So, VC will be get right. How VC equals to VCC minus IC RC, right? So VCC v minus IC RC, IC, okay, that much uh, value. Okay. And uh, yeah, right. So uh, after that, V is uh, IE into RE, right? IE that is going to be this, this type, right? RE that is, and that should be equal to you know, VB minus VB, that take voltage, VB minus. This VB minus V, VB, right? That will give this uh, emitter voltage, or okay. means this emitter voltage V, okay? Base to emitter, right? From VB, if we uh, you know, uh, take out base to emitter voltage, right? We will get this emitter voltage from input to base. If we reduce base to emitter voltage, so we will get emitter voltage. Okay. That, Okay, so yeah. So now, uh, yeah. So we can uh, formulate this uh, value like no, V C V C equals to V C minus V V C minus V C minus V. Okay. So what we will get this uh, V C C minus I C C. Okay, and minus this this will be the I R. So V C C minus ICRC plus IR. Okay, so this is minus ICRC plus this IR that will result in VC, right? Okay, yeah. Now, uh, if we calculate the value base, right? This point, this term, yeah. that is, should that voltage should be equal to the voltage across this resistor RB2. And it's because this uh, uh, second term of this resistor is correct. This, right? So, how much voltage is it? According to the voltage divider rule, according to the voltage divider rule, yeah, the voltage will be equal to you know, RB2 upon total resistance. RB2, what was the resistance? Upon uh, the total resistance, right? This RB2 along total resistance is RB1 plus RB2 into VCC supplied voltage. Into VCC, that is supplied voltage. That much amount of voltage is going to be present across VB, right? That base potential, right? Okay, now, yeah. Uh, that uh, current, uh, what are flowing through this, uh, uh, you know, IP current, yeah, that uh, so you have to calculate, right? So, how we are going to calculate, right? So, for that purpose, what we have the two groups, IB1 and IB2, right? Okay. IB1 and IB2, that um, first we formulated. So, if we uh, see this IB1, right? So, how we we can um, calculate IB1? Right? IB1 is nothing but what when uh, IB plus IB2 are gathered together. So this IB right, that is flowing through this resin R RB right should provide this base current and IB2. So IB equals to IB plus IB2. IB plus IB2. So we um yeah IB plus IB2 right and similarly uh the same current IB1 can be in 
calculated as VCC minus VD. So this VCC minus this potential, VCC minus this potential upon this resistance, right? That much current, right? I be I be current going flowing through this resistance which one? The voltage potential across this resistance. What is the potential across this resistance? VCC minus V. This VCC minus V and what are the resistors? What RB that we brought IB that current going to this resistance. So IB one this value is equal to what? VCC minus V upon RB. Also IB one is equal to what? IB plus IP two. Right. So this will give what? So this will give the equality. Right. This will give the equality of these yeah equations. Right. Okay, uh, now then uh, we will uh, try to formulate uh, this uh, uh, equivalent resistance, right? So RB, equivalent resistance of RB, right? So how it is uh, calculated that RB1 into R2 upon RB1 plus R2 into R1. That is the parallel, they are connected with parallel. So we formulated the input resistance RB1 equals to RB1 into RB2 upon RB1 plus R2. Right, so after that, all these um, values, after getting all these values, right? so finally, if we uh, solve uh, the complete values of this, right, so you can formulate this value uh, of IB, right, IB equals to what? VB minus VB, VB minus VB upon RB plus 1 plus beta into R. Okay, and then you can calculate IC, that is equal to beta, what we have to vector into IV, right? And similarly, I is equal to IC plus I. Okay. So this is how we have to do the formulations for voltage to water setting and we have to uh, calculate the value of VC, VC and IC for Q and for right? DC load line where we have to meet at this DC load line.